Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And um, there's something interesting that came up with uh, the announcement from Microsoft that the Mail app that Windows 10, Windows 11 has right now, that in Windows 11 could be updated and push everybody to the Outlook app, which will be kind of an interface for the online um, mail service. Uh, which is kind of a light version of the official Outlook app that you have with Office. Now, if you've noticed, and some might have noticed or changed it, you could actually try the new Outlook with a little slider on the upper right corner. Um, now, it appears that one hint somebody have seen is that it might hint at Windows 12, meaning they're not exactly saying in Windows 11. They're just talking about apps that are updated. Uh, but we know that Windows 11 will get them. But some have been hinting that maybe that September 2024 uh, change to Outlook and changing the calendar app also could actually be for the uh, official release of Windows 12, meaning that Windows 12 would not get the old apps, it would get the new Outlook, and that they're kind of matching the release of this with Windows 12 next year. So this is an interesting theory. Where of course, everybody's looking at the speculations, at the little bits here and there, and at the blog posts to try to you know find any hints of Windows 12 right now. So that could be one thing. And then when that releases with Windows 12, it would be available for Windows 11 also, and people could move on. Windows 10 would not get the new apps. One of the things that's interesting here is also the fact that there is a, um, a, a lot of people complaining, apparently, that they don't necessarily want to have the move to the new Outlook. So this is uh, interesting because there's really a lot of people complaining about that. Apparently, people want to keep the old, you know, calendar and mail app the way it is. So I don't know what's gonna that's happen with that. And of course, there's some complaints. People saying, "Well, it could you know you could release this earlier." Well, yeah, you can try it now if you want. It is available, and I mean it's there. So um, it it's probably going to be different when it's going to happen, but still. Kind of interesting to see that um, all of these little hints and all of these little um, <laughs> posts of, well, this could match Windows 12, this could be that, and, and plus the complaining of people. Um, and one thing also Microsoft does say is that once you will have done, because right now you have a switch, because you see here it's very weird. You click, but the app opens separately. It's like it one app opens, closes, and then it's Outlook. That's going to, of course, become just Outlook, so it's not going to have that weird, funky uh, startup. But Microsoft did say that once you move on when it is officially released, because right now you can still turn it off, still go back to Windows, to, to the Mail app, if you wish. But once it's official in the release, once you do choose to go to the Outlook app, you will not be able to get back to the old Mail app. There will be no way to download it from the Microsoft Store anymore, which means you get there, you're stuck there. So this is going to be also an interesting thing to watch when that arrives. So who knows? Maybe it's hinting at a September 2024 release of Windows 12 at the same time. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.